This week project goes back some time. It actually started last year. This was a dresser I gave up on. The drawers wouldn't go in, the bleed through wouldn't stop. I didn't know what to do. But now that summer is here, I got some time for you. It's going to take some work, so let's get started. I began with sanding. I needed to scuff up the old paint and somehow make these drawers go in all the way. I sanded everything. This dresser is probably mahogany, one of the worst woods for bleed through. Here you can see the old bleed through. And there is my baby boy loving the summer sun, my Duga boy. sanding I did give it a good cleaning with some water to wipe off all the dust. I knew I needed something really tough to stop this guy from bleed through. I decided to use Zinser beans. It's shellac plus primer. This piece needed both shellac and primer. I wore the mask for the most time. This doesn't smell good and I suggest you protect yourself with some mask. Give it a good mix before starting. of this because I saw some bleed through coming through after the first coat. Sometimes you will have to use up to three coats of primer to stop the bleed through. It was much easier to apply with this roller. coming through. That is more wood bleed through. I used a brush to get the places a roller wouldn't work. primer was dry, I used a fine grit sandpaper to knock down any bumps left over. Now I was ready to paint. For my base color, I'm using Rust-Oleum Linen White and my two inch mini brush by Dixie Bell. I 
get to it first, I got you mad. I guess that when I get to it last, get it that I know. Because we already have primer on here, I will only need two coats and it's going to be super white. Get it that I'm never going back. Get it that I'm never going back. Going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Get it that I'm never going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Different incomes not one way. Living life on a one way. I knew this would happen someday. You can ask my day one day. Cloudy days turn to sun rays. Only way to way up way. Know my way, know my feng shui. I get to it first, I got you mad. I guess that when I get to it last. Get it, then I'm never going back. Get it, then I'm never going back. I get to it first, I got you I also painted the hardware with two coats. Never going back. Get it, then I'm never going back. Going up, going up. Going up, going up, going up, going up, get it that I'm never going up, 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 get it that I'm never going different summer, different car keys. For the drawers, I decided to use some big mama's bada. The wood was looking old and dry, and this will do the trick and bring them back to life. Battle scars, battle smartly, smartly, just forever like a sharpie. I get to it first, I got you mad. I guess that when I get to it last, get it that I'm never going back, get it that I'm never going back. I get to it first, I got you mad. I guess that when I get to it last, get it that I'm never going back, get it that I'm never going back. Up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, get it that I'm never going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Now it was time for some modern masters metallics. I used snowflake as my color, a metallic white. Our eyes are closed when we start this loop on repeat. Hear my chest how we be. I added a little bit to the details of the dresser. On me. Now it was time for my mother master's glass bead gel. Thoughts, yeah, I let them go. Cause I'm here with you. And all I need is you. It's so easy to be us. We lock ourselves up from the world. We're lost. It's so easy to We are going to mix our snowflake metallic paint for our raised stencil. I have to say I'm kind of addicted to this glass bead gel. <laughs> it's so fun. Don't know why you really the bead gel dries hard and clear and keeps only the metallic color we added. It is so cool to use this. It dries super hard and leaves behind small metallic beads. I will be using a small stencil and spatula. Time goes fast, but yet so slow. I leave of thoughts, yeah, I let them go. Since the stencil is so small, I just held it with my hand carefully in place. All I need is you. You just want to spread the bead gel everywhere then scrape it all off, then carefully remove the stencil. Take your time and it should go just fine.
it leaves this beautiful raised stencil behind with metallic beads. I did clean the stencil with water and towels in between drawers. You don't want to clean this in your sink, the bead gel will clog your pipes. Now it's just a matter of repeating the process. the bead gel to every drawer. I took my time. No rush here. Also, for the added effect, I painted bead gel on the details. When this dries, we will have some metallic beads scattered around there too. coats of snowflake metallic paint on my hardware too. Then it was time to add my hardware back on and put the drawers back in. It reminds me of a wedding, of a wedding. It just reminds me of a wedding. It's like a wedding dresser. And what dresser is doing at the wedding, I have no idea, but it just reminds me of a wedding dresser. <laughs> I finished this off with a spray wax for protection. This is very easy and quick to do. Just spray it on and wipe it off and you are done. absolutely love how this piece turned out and I am thinking maybe I will keep this dresser. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next week. Bye guys!